Also tonight, 7 Eyewitness News is working to try and get some answers on a, on a sign snafu here in the Queen City. One viewer reached out to us after they noticed a number of brand new street signs have gone up, but they're misspelled. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan went into the neighborhoods today to try and figure out what happened here and to try and find out what's being done to fix the problem. Well, I imagine it's a silly mistake and someone should have reported to the city. Oh, the city should have checked it. In Buffalo's Hamlin Park neighborhood, it doesn't take long to find a mix-up or two on the street signs. And just after a while, it just comes off amateurish. Uh, we'd, we'd like better services. Humboldt Parkway missing a D. Blaine and Hughes Avenues, both labeled as streets. In another part of the city, East Ferry Street, labeled Avenue. The city says the Humboldt spelling was human error, but for the Avenue versus Street situation, the city points to conflicting historical records. Neighbors admit it's not the end of the world, but do want to see the signs fixed. Just as a single mistake on a sign, it's not a big deal. But as a, as a pattern of sloppy repairs and uh, inattentive to our needs in the community, uh, it, it just speaks that they don't seem to care about us. Each sign costs $150 to replace. The city has around 140,000 signs and sees less than 10 complaints about signs from its 311 hotline every year. Buffalo plans to replace the misspelled Humboldt signs and is looking into the Avenue Street situation to make sure everything is correct and uniform. In Buffalo, Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News.